Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome United States Senator Eric Schmidt of Missouri. Hello, Milwaukee. Hello, America. I'm Eric Schmidt from the great state of Missouri, the show me state. It's not lost on me how unlikely my presence is on this stage. As the grandson of a butcher, the son of a man who worked seven days a week in the midnight shift, my blue collar roots run deep. And I'm proud the Republican Party is the party of working families. Missouri is home to cities named Liberty and Independence, and towns called Freedom and Defiance. So it should come as no surprise that we are sick and tired of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And I am here with a simple message. Enough is enough. We're ready to take our country back. Under Joe Biden, the rule of law has disintegrated. Crime is rampant. Our communities are under siege. And our brave law enforcement officers are constantly being vilified. He stood idly by as liberal DAs and mayors pushed to defund the police agenda and empowered criminals, all while endangering law-abiding citizens. Kamala Harris shares in these failures. She campaigned as a progressive prosecutor and even called for us to reimagine public safety. Americans don't need to reimagine safety. We know exactly what safe communities look like. But the weakness and the wokeness of the Biden-Harris administration has made us less safe. Biden and Harris opened our border to terrorists, to criminals. They allowed drug cartels to flood our communities with Chinese fentanyl that's killing more than 200 Americans each and every day. It doesn't have to be this way. As Missouri's former Attorney General, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the radical defund the police crowd and had the backs of our men and women in blue. When Soros-backed officials refused to prosecute violent criminals, I stepped in and put those dangerous felons beyond bars. And I know President Trump will do the same. He'll restore law and order. He'll unapologetically back the blue. And President Trump will secure the border once and for all. I believe in an America where our best days are ahead of us. I believe in an America where moms and dads can raise their kids in safe communities. And I believe in an America where we defend the police, not defund the police. <laughs> President Trump will make that dream a reality. And that's why we need him back in the White House. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a vote for President Trump is a vote to make America safe again. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.